Hello and welcome back to another episode of Banishers Ghost of New Eden. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty. It is time to explore the city. And hopefully we can find a way to get that spirit um, forked down once and for all. Nope. Not yet. Well, it's surely going to happen in the near future, but for now... We are yet again being attacked. Think you could take on a ghost? Okay, well... You're within gun range, Red. Bastard. Okay, more specters are coming. We got that prepared for you. Back down to hell. Can't just ta face tank him. We could stun the rest, but this guy seems to be a bit harder. I'm right here, you know. Cool. Nice little opening scene fight. Pretty sure we can get in there somehow. I'm just not keeping up with uh, how all of these mis uh, mysterious entrances are to be solved or if I'm missing something. Okay, so that's a little wicker thing in there. Which, to my knowledge, we can't even use at this point, so... No point stressing over it. Trouble ahead. Maybe not to make you angry. Remember the wicked will I felt earlier. The same spell is upon this. Cost of a spell. Eh? A seeker could help us with this. I think we're going to find a seeker very, very soon. Shut up, seeker! Witch! Finally, we got a witch. Ah, oh, the banisher who died for her novice. Ah, the witch's novice. Ho oh, there, Antea. Are you not surprised to see me? You're a little early, but no, not surprised. 
On my return, Ceridian told me our poor wee banisher would turn up haunted. A haunted banisher. Well, it is funny, isn't it? You look like you need a moment. Can we help? <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. Some of my spirit chasers went out. Ugh, that's how old Saul crossed the hem. The hem? The hem. Where the fabric of the living world meets that of the dead. Ah. Uh. The veil between the visible and the invisible. Whatever soothes your soul, Vanisher. Rest. Heal. Tell us how to fix the spirit chasers. The spell is cast. You need only light them. Be careful. Old Mossed won't have gone far. Oh, I'll sit down now. Good luck. Have fun. I have absolutely no idea what she was talking about, but we're going to find out. Light the spirit chasers. Okay. So, how do we do this? We light the spirit chasers with flint and steel, I guess. I think. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Are these... Okay, there's another point of interest. Let's start with that. My experience is you always want to start with the points of interest because they are where the real good stuff is hidden. sudden we can take up all of uh, those little ghost dolls okay miss Gef definitely starting to give us way more loot than before a lock i'm gonna need a key haven't fully understood the whole key thing yet if you randomly get them or if you really need to find the specific corpse for it i know that we've opened a few right but i'm not 100 percent sure that i know where all of those keys are supposed to be Sounds like he is plenty strong. Watch out, Spectre possession. Have some of this. Spectre's seen a corpse and it wants it for its own. Well, fabulous, Saiken. Well done. Look to me.
I'm right here, you know. Oh, come on. How could I not interrupt that? First spirit chaser. Okay, I don't think that we have beaten him really. Oh, I see. That is a spirit chaser. Leave or eat you. He really doesn't like these things. Shall we? I take a wild guess. Once that spirit chaser is something's nearby. Uh, Where killed, is it? We can freely move through that cloud and fox stuff. Return and flee, ye cowards! Dealing a lot of damage, I like what I'm seeing. You're done. You be next. That thing Seeker was fighting. Who do you think he was? He looked. What is that thing? Was. Hmm. Looked like a soldier. Maybe this was his fort. Okay, so we... Here's one more. We could get uh, the fog away. From your skull. Burning spirit chasers repel these bastards, right? One more to go. Mentioned that, but these do. roots are too strong to be removed. I'm gonna try my hand at them anyway. Good, can't get up there yet. May we're learning that uh, root removal spell soon. Check over here. Useless. Relics of a colony I'll wager. That long ago failed. Fabulous. Got our next cauldron right ahead of us. Oh, these buggers again. Not 
better stay down. I think I heard the sound of a gun cocking. Yeah, bastard. did that. We're good. Is that them all? Die. Don't count on it. He's on my that side. one next. That one next. Enjoying your feast of lesser living form then? Don't be so loud. The wisps might hear you and come out. Ready and waiting. We got him right where we want him. This here seems to be the generals of sorts. Sharp enough. And it disperses the fog, which is good. Can't do much against uh, or about the roots for now. Good, time to move further. I think we we'll just need to light one more of these spirit chasms and we're done. Something's nearby. Where is it? I feel something close. It's right in here. Once we can get over to the other side, we should be able to pick to pick up that chest there. There we go. Game is teasing you with all of those chests. 
and with which stones that I still don't know what we're using them for, but I promise we're going to find out soon because we have found a lot our of first you, witch. Don't let that specter get to the corpse. Make a run for it! Away with you! That's the third one. Let's light it. This should be enough. There. Witchcraft is easy. I don't know what the fuss is about. I'm sure your witch friend would agree. I think I'll just tell her we're done. What wasp crawled up that spectre's arse and stung him angry? A lost battle? A betrayal? Cowardice in the ranks? Who knows? Seeker's vanished. She does that. She's over there. She indeed does that quite a bit. Did I see you talking to a crow just now? Yes and no. All ready to go then? Good. She's waiting for you. Go where? To see your mistress? Ceridian, yes. In a boat. It'll be fun. No, we're going to New Eden. The nightmare's grip on the world is too strong. The fog is too thick. You cannot enter its stronghold. There's no way back to the meeting house. Not yet. And not without help. We've done fine on our own so far. You're dead. Maybe you're not doing quite as well as you think. You're blunt, but I take your point. We'll talk to Ceridian before we move on. That's better. Follow me. Careful. Don't rot the bow. Have we far to go? How far is far? Don't worry, you'll be safe. Safe? The Mire is home to many angry spirits. <laughs> but my mistress keeps them quiet. <laughs> Dead quiet. Okay, unfortunately we can't... That spectre you fought looked like a harvester. Vanishes and their labels. He'll surely be back. So will I. The veil seems thinner here. Always has been. We call them the Maya Marshes, but the nearby tribes call it the Ill Mouth. Stay too long, you'd get sick. Is that why Ceridian's wards wane faster than they should? That is because she is dying. I'm sorry. Life's a journey. Death is but one step. This is almost as lovely as that ride through Hedengracht. All we're missing is the hailstones and the Russia at our heels. I'm sure we can arrange something. You do plan the best escapes. What a mess. What happened here? Men happened. War happened. What can you tell us about your mentor? I could tell you quite a lot. But I'm not going to. She's a very old witch who's tended this very big garden for a very long time. That's it? Believe me, that's more than enough. The spectres on the shore aren't moving. The marshes are well protected. 
are those soldiers? That, Miss Duarte, is all Saul's army. The game definitely has a lot of mystery. You're dead. I meant your essence is strong for one your age. How did you come to be here? How did you come to waste your potential by being a banisher? Do you believe I'd make a better witch? Yes, I do. You'd be doing yourself and me a favor. Welcome to Ceridian's Island. There is much power here. Oh, you noticed that, did you? Like I say, welcome to Ceridian's Island. She's at home, and expecting you. Follow the path until you find a black pond near ancient ruins. I'll see you there soon enough. How does she do that? It's a trick, right? There's more to that one than tricks. The girl is gifted. Okay. Strange enough. What is this? Banisher rule number three. Remember Wizbeach Bog? Aye. Oh, I'll not poke this thing with a stick. This year it very much looks like an interesting island. It's not giving in. Okay, we need to be stronger in order to harvest that. See, that's one of the disappointing parts. I mentioned it a couple of times. I wish um, they would make that a tiny bit more linear or at least um, have better far, uh, fast traveling points. Oh, shelter with a damp and itchy straw bed. Just how I like it. I love doing that. Can't get through there. I don't think that we need to sleep very long. I just want to see if our resources are filled somewhat up. Yeah, we're good. We just got an evolution point, I suppose. Whilst the spirit is gorgeous fall, reds attacks uh, decrease manifestation cooldowns by 15%. I like that. That is absolutely handy. Our inventory unfortunately does not allow us to upgrade a single thing. And we're out of there really, really fast. Thank you, but no thank you. We're not staying. Not in, in a witch's house. Witches do like to be creepy. As a child, I made dolls just like those. <laughs> I bet you did. Seeker's Black Pond. 
I can see why they call this the ill mouth. What is that? I have no idea what it is, but we're going to find out. There's a point of interest over there. And here? And all of a sudden we're alone. I don't like that at all. No, that's not quite true. I knew who I was, it's just... I was lost and I had nowhere to go. I had no when to go. Does that make sense? Time lays traps for the dead. It's never fair. His voice was... A beacon. The light in the darkness that led me back to me. And to the world. You have a powerful connection, you two. Or will have. Or had. Possibly all three. And here he is, the other banisher. Greetings. Good day. Come, sit. It's been too long. She makes room. Have we met? Of course we have. Just now. Also later. Decades ago. <laughs> Never mind. It's good to see you, Red McRae. I told her our story. I hope you don't mind. Such an ordeal. I'm so very sorry you have to go through it. How hard it must be for you both. I... thank you. But now you're here together, and I'm glad. Because you'll only be able to end this together. You brought us here. Why? You have many questions, and I have little time. Your novice mentioned it. I am sorry. <laughs> I am not. Soon I'll be one with the trees, root and bark. But that is not why I asked you here. Dearest dears, the path ahead is yet unclear, but know this. If you are to defeat the Nightmare, your hearts must be open. Open, of course, to each other. No barriers. Your bond must be strong. How can we defeat it? How can we even begin to match its power? You surrender. Unconditionally, to each other. When you died, dear Antea, New Eden crumbled. But some yet live. Seek them out. Help them. The Nightmare won't like that. No. You are, after all, a threat to her existence. And rightly so. She believes you cannot reach into her domain. She is wrong. There is a way. The Void. A dreadful place beneath both the Incarnate and the Invisible. When you have learned to walk the Void, you may use it to enter the Nightmare's Den. First, you must free the people of New Eden from her grip. What is this void? If there's a place beneath the Incarnate and the Invisible, this is the first I've heard of it. Now you have, and not before time. That's enough for now. Is it safe? What will we find there? Who knows what you'll find? It ebbs and flows, expands and contracts, twists and turns, but you won't find safety. 
in the void, safe has no meaning. Just know this. The moment you enter it, you must escape. In places, the void is breached. Follow the beacons. Do not stray, and all will be well. Our seeker crafted you a tuning key. With it, you may open the breach. Don't linger. Time is fickle. We recently came across a cursed item and thought you could help us cleanse it. Really? Why us? Well, you know, spells, curses, witches. I was teasing. How fun it is to see you squirm. There are many ways to enchant an item, or dispel its curse. Seeker may be of help. Go talk to her. She likes to tease you too. Would a hedge witch have something interesting in her swamps for a banisher? I always have, and I always will. Okay, well, we got some hers. Defeating an enemy with red restores 35 spirit points. Mm. Scorch acquisition is a thousand. That's a lot. Hitting an enemy with manifestation grants banish points. And hitting an enemy with rifle. Uh, increases the damage of the next manifestation by 50%. Hmm. I mean, look, we got a lot of stuff that we could theoretically buy, but I would be careful for now. None of this here looks really tempting to me. Nah. No, no. About the nightmare. The nightmare in the meeting house was by far the most powerful ghost I've ever faced. From where did it come? Unforgiving wrath is a bottomless well for vengeful spirits. But in this case, I suspect an even more vile source involved. What do you know of Deborah? Not much. I have avoided the people of New Eden for decades. I do know she was tried for witchcraft. Was she a witch? Was she one of yours? Would it matter if she was? She was no witch. She was a woman. A victim of the basest of human fears. We know the beast was linked to the nightmare. We're not so clear on how. Through the beast, the nightmare inflicted its curse upon the settlers. The beast was its avatar. I'm sure it has others. What are they, exactly? They are... manifestations of her power. They may also represent her only weakness. The Nightmare's spirit was shattered by the violence that created it. Properly studied, the pieces may provide the key to lifting her curse. Interesting. Thank you, Ceridian. We'll be off. Before you leave, tell me. What did you choose? What do you mean? Each of you made a promise to the other. What was it? What did you choose? I chose to stay. Lives for a life? An expensive bargain. I made a promise. I'll pay the price. I do not judge the deal. I worry about the cost. The tuning key is on the table. In the void, it will protect you. Seeker waits at the pool to show you the way. Help yourself, and take all the help you need. 
Equilibrium. What does it do? Damage dealt by Retinant here is increased against wounded enemy, but decreased by 90% against full health enemies. Hmm. I like that amulet. I like it a lot. Less alpha strike damage, but definitely f more follow up damage. And as far as I'm concerned, wounded means just having taken any point of damage, really. Witchery feels unnatural, dangerous. Banishing, of course, is famously safe. Funny looking spinning wheel. Do you weave with it? Of course. <laughs> I weave essence, Red McGrath. The tuning key is on the table. In the void, it will protect you. Seeker waits at the pool to show you the way. Okay, cool. What a lovely old you lady. You may have time to waste, but I do not. What a lovely old lady. Seeker, on the other hand, is impatient and brusque, as always. This ivy is strong. Really strong. You don't say. Yeah, we don't have uh, the means to remove ivy yet. Before we move on, let's talk to the seeker. Let's not put the cart before the horse, as they say. Ceridian gave us a tuning key. Now I know how you pull your little disappearing trick. It's no trick. It's what we do to survive. Too many bastards out there want us dead. So what we saw on the other side of the island, that was a void breach? Yes. You'll be using them too. But not this one. Not yet. There's another one, a little ways off, in the back of a cave. Use that one for now. This one is special. It's the last and only way into New Eden Town since the bridge burned down. We could go back to New Eden right now? Why would you want to do that? The Nightmare is strong. She has New Eden by the proverbials. Loosen her grasp and maybe, just maybe, you can walk through that breach and live. All right, all right. We get it. You have your tuning key. Hold on to it for dear life. That shouldn't be a problem. Once through the breach, there's no turning back. Keep going and don't look back. We found a cursed object. An object? What object? A chest, locked and evidently cursed. A curse could mean different things, depending. What do you think happened? We found it in the wilderness. We think maybe someone bound a spirit to it for protection. Ah, I do believe you found a chest belonging to Fear God. How do we get it open? Why would you want to open it? That's demonology and I'm not one for stepping in no demonology. Even if old Fear God wasn't the worst. But from what he told me, Fear God Waterbury, the man, not his ghost, kept a ritual of unbinding in his breviary. Do you have this breviary? No, but I know we can find it. He spent his last years in seclusion, deep in the dark woods. Go northeast from the hunter's camp. 
Keep to the east side of the trail until you can turn south. You should come to a clearing. He had a hut there. You forget things sometimes, so here. I'll write it down for you. Well, thank you. We'll be going. Hope to talk again soon. Yes. I do. Let me get this right. We have... Okay. Looking for a breviary belonging to a demonologist that Seeker met after his death. So, what are we saying, really? Alto of the Invisible is up here, but Creepy Ivy is still blocking it. But maybe we can get up there, who knows? Point of interest. This is the hunter's camp. Haunting case available. Okay. Do we have any open haunting cases? Apparently there are four more. Difficult to follow everything that uh, mm, the game starts to have a bit of a wider story arc or just a, a broader uh, story arc. I don't want In order to... to learn how to cleanse malignant spirits bound to cursed objects. Remember Balthazar H. Frenhofer's teaching efficient, adaptive, versatile. I don't want to speak out of two parts of my mouth. I complained earlier that it is a bit too uh, straightforward, but equally, at the moment, there are quite a few things that are not yet adding up for me. And the game does not necessarily give you a great indication what you are supposed to do. Fair enough, let's go into the cave, follow what uh, the Seeker was uh, trying to tell us, which is uh, use our first turn key, and then I think we're taking it from there. Still can't remove the roots. But we should be fine. Short little level up for our inventory because we got a new amulet here. Can't go through there, we already know that. Which means we're likely going to go right back to the entrance. Over here. So, help me out, how do we want to do that? Mm. 
inventory. Turning key. Okay, we got that. How do you use it though? Hmm. It doesn't really tell us. I think it's a perfect time for me to end the episode here on a nice little cliffhanger and we're going to find out together the next time. Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you enjoy Banishers the Ghost of New Eden uh, then I leave a comment and a like down below and maybe use your uh, tuning key on that like button. I was told that's going to help my channel. Take care. Have a good one. Bye bye.